Oh, welcome back. Man, I really did just roll over the cake cable. Cake, 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 cables combo. It's not good for you to cables to be running over. Them. Not like that. Not like this. My favorite weapon. Fuck you. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh shit. <laughs> I've got a wanted level. I can't I can't do races now, can I? Well this is an added bonus for this particular racetrack. Oh dear. Uh, no 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 get up. Holy shit. <laughs> They're really pissed off. Alright, let's even get home. Which home am I going to? I'm going to Richmond. This is not the racetrack, by the way. <laughs> Although, this is a way to get racetracks. So you just fucking drive around the city. You see things, you see pathways, and you're like, Ooh, yeah, I could do that. Right, I've escaped a little. Where's that cop going? It's going to the left. Go to the left, that's it. Ooh, fully evaded. Don't even need to go home. Sweet. See that? That's how you get away with murder. Alright. Enough fucking around. <laughs> Next racetrack. Oh, I've done all that. I forgot what the fucking name of it is. Oh, it's funny enough called Speeding Along. That's exactly what I was just doing. Speeding Along. There we go. Going down and onwards for the journey. For the journey. So that was a bit of bonus for this uh, race track. <laughs> nice. Turn that off. Change that. Change that. Pitch is not working as per usual. There's the map. Along the way you go, the next three tracks are going to be brilliant. Man. The only reason why they're going to be brilliant is because of the map. And, uh, well, you'll see when I get there. Away! Yeah, I don't mind the graphics of the 360. I don't really affect my uh, enjoyment of doing races, making them or, or racing them. There's no real reason for me to get X uh, Grand Theft Auto on Xbox One. Not for achievements, because I don't give, care about achievements anymore. And I don't care about achievements unless they get you stuff. Like uh, certain achievements in Master Chief Collection get you armor unlocks and stuff like that. I think certain of them do. And I think a few other games have done the same thing as well. They, it gets you unlocks in the game. And that I don't mind. I don't mind going for achievements like that now. But ach achievements just to get the achievement, the gamer score, I, I don't care anymore. because Mainly because of how it's been handled on the Xbox One. It just sucks. It's like, normally, let's say, Freak City, you get the achievement, it pops up, and you're like, ooh, 
Uh, what's that? And then you, you check it out. You press your the Xbox button. Whoops. And you'll... Oh, come on, get out of that. What the hell? Okay. So take for example, yeah, you, you pop achievement, achievement comes up, you go achievements, and then you check out achievements. Last one was, uh, oh, right, last one was here. And I held up 20 stores, yeah, done. So, yeah, done, easy. And uh, Xbox One games. Oh, I can't see that. Xbox One, it's bullshit. You have to press the button, and then you have to load up the achievement app, because everything's a fucking app, which everyone seems to forget is a... Original name is Programs, which then became Applications, which has been shortened down to Apps. So everything's a fucking app now. So achieve Achievements is an app, so you have to open and load that up, and then while you're waiting for that, then you, you have to wait for it to load up the specific game achievement, and you have to click on it, wait for that to load up, and then it tells you some bullshit that you... It's just like, what, what, what are you trying to tell me? How did I get this achievement? Up and over the pools. So achievements on the Xbox One are completely useless. They really are, unless they net you stuff in game, which then is point. It's still pointless having an achievement. You might as well just have, oh, complete this task to get this unlock. And already there's stuff like that in game, so you don't even need achievements to unlock stuff in game. You just play the game. Yeah. So achievements are pretty bullshit right now. At least. I don't know how it is for PS4, but at least with PS3 they got it right as well. PS3 and Xbox 360 they got it right, because they had trophies. And they went one step further with trophies as well, with Home, where you can display your trophies. And I thought that's a really cool idea. I mean, like, Home is interesting, but I don't see Xbox having something like that. I mean, obviously they didn't. Uh, but at least they made it unique, especially with the trophies, you know. So like you got a trophy and now you actually have a trophy you know it's not just a, an icon you can actually it's a 3d model and i don't know if it's the same on the ps4 it might be i don't know but xbox one man they they've dropped the ball somewhere they really did it, i could bitch so much about xbox one i ain't gonna bother we're not on xbox one right now we're on the xbox 360 we're on a superior machine to the Xbox One. Now, don't get me wrong, Xbox One has its pros. It does. It is a more advanced technology. It has much better graphics. Signing into your profile is way faster. The controller is actually decent as well, so no fuss with that. Especially the grips and the sticks, they're really good. Um, but there's just so much bullshit with it it's just you know it's got a lot of work I mean even when the 360 first came out with its original blades dashboard slowness of uh, of that and everything I mean I like the blades blades are really cool I mean, yeah sure it was a little slow to see so what are you running for get out of the way the blades yeah they're a little slow but you know they're still cool you, your themes worked really well and then they got the uh, NXC, I can't remember what that stands for, and um, hey, and uh, that ruined all the themes. But you know, the themes still worked, and the blade system was right. And then uh, they changed that, and uh, that wasn't too bad. Then they changed it to make it more flat, and it's just like, okay, now it's getting shit. And then they changed it to make it look like Windows 8, and it's like, wow, this is pure shit. It's no longer like console now; it's just like operating systems. Like, what the hell? But you kind of get used to it, it's still not too bad. And then Xbox One has taken that and it's just like, yeah, we, we saw that you so called liked the other one, we're gonna make this one like that. And it's like, no, the other one sucks. It's, you know, and Avatars. Avatars were cool when NXE, they came out. And then they, they've made them useless now. All those Avatar items, the, the clothing you can see straight away, but the, the items, the uh, props. You don't see them anymore. It's like what the fuck? Cunt. I'm sure I had a racetrack that already ended in that place before. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, avatars are bullshit now. On the 360, the bullshit. 
because in order to see the prop, you have to actually phys properly go into the menu, into settings, uh, settings, into your friends list, and then on your friend, and then you have to wait for it. Whereas in the past, you just your friends list was a uh, uh, not a tab, but you know that system how they had with the perspective thing, and it was going sideways left and right. That was awesome because their props were just playing and just skim through and just see them. That's brilliant. And then they got rid of it. And now they're, they're like completely moot on the uh, Xbox One. Uh, they don't really do anything. I mean, at least they've carried over, I guess, but still. Oh well, enough bitching about that. On to the next track. The next one's a good one. Let me move this mic out of the way. 